Hi everyone, my name is April and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple jumpsuit perfect for summer. To create your own pattern for the jumpsuit, you can trace an overall you already own or you can even overlap a pair of pants and a shirt. Just make sure you have the proper measurements for how low or high you want your jumpsuit to sit. I have a black jumpsuit at home that I like the fit of because the crotch of the pants is a lot lower, but you can always lower the crotch of any pants by a few inches for a more comfy fit. Choose a nice lightweight fabric that will feel comfortable to wear. I found this beautiful sage fabric in the denim section and it's a Lyocell rayon denim. With the fabric on fold, I folded it in half again. That way I can cut out two layers out at once. Next, I fold my jumpsuit in half and place it on fold. This means the sides of the pants will be on fold and will not have side seams. Trace out the entire shape. I forgot to make the jumpsuit wide enough at the hips so I can easily slide it on and off. So if you're working with non-stretch fabric, make sure that you make your jumpsuit bigger in this area. Cut the two pieces out and then on one side, I made adjustments to the crotch and shortened it a little because the front crotch is usually a little shorter than the back. Now with the two jumpsuit layers in the same position, I pinned the center front and center back down and sewed it in place. After sewing the center front and back together, I can open up the jumpsuit so the two seams are facing each other and then sew the inner leg seam closed. Remember how I forgot to make the jumpsuit big enough to slide over my hips? Well, to fix that, I just cut open the sides and we'll be adding a two to three inch strip to the side seams. Now that the jumpsuit can easily slide on and off, I made changes to the neckline and lowered the sides so that it hits my waist. Sorry for all the crazy lines, I'm a visual person so I like to draw it all out so I can see what it looks like. Next, I created some square pockets and played around with where I wanted them placed on the jumpsuit. First, I put them at the very sides but then moved them more towards the front so they can be visible. Pin the pockets in place and top stitch them on. To finish up the raw edges of the neckline, I created some bias tape out of the leftover fabric. While pressing my bias tape, I was really wishing I had the bias tape maker tool because I was struggling to make them all the same size, but we made it work. First, I'm going to add bias tape along the front and back neckline. Then I'm adding bias tape to cover the armhole as well, but it'll also be used to create the straps of the jumpsuit. Make sure to wear the jumpsuit and pin the bias tape on so you know how long to make the straps. Once 
Once the bias tape is trimmed to fit, I sewed the two ends together and pinned the bias tape along the armhole. To sew the bias tape on, first sew one side of it right side together to the armhole. Then flip the bias tape over to cover the other side of the armhole and top stitch it down. I wanted to stitch in the ditch in the front but it was challenging to catch the other side so I did my best to top stitch on the same stitch line. Once you get to the straps, keep the bias tape folded in half and top stitch the open side closed along the edge. Lastly, evenly trim the bottom of the pants and hem the raw edges. And I'm finished! Last year, I made the perfect summer dress and this year is the perfect summer jumpsuit. It's lightweight, loose fit, and so comfortable to wear, and I hope you try it out for yourself. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!